Hi everyone, we're live at the Lindsay Project and I'm totally late on this, but Mama M is talking about cloth, so uh, let's watch her. Come on, Cash, let's see. Made me change everything, and that's the reason why my podcast is called All Things Crunchy because I just I can't get enough of like things that are natural and more um, more uh, natural options and healthy options. And um, what I did was I started out with um, cloth diapering, but I didn't start cloth diapering him until he was about five months old. And um, we'll talk more about the cloth diapers um, once we have. Uh, and we're here, but um, what I started with was on white. Um, it just seems a little more easy for me to kind of transition into it. Um, I got a diaper service for Jason, and um, and they they did all the laundering. But what I did was um, I got I did the wipes myself. I bought them myself, and I washed them myself. Um, Can I? Do you all know what she means? Yeah. Have you all seen the cloth diaper? Yeah. yeah. Let me. I don't have all the ones that somebody else is going to show. What I have is a fitted. Um, so it's cloth. It's um, this one's been used for a long time. Um, but it it's basically what you need is something to absorb the pee and the poop. Um, but what you also need is a cover when you have, you know, cloth like this. Um, what I used was actually pre folded covers, and hopefully we're going to have some. But um, let's see. <clears throat> like this is a cover so that the inside will repel the wetness and keep the outside dry. So you put the diaper on, and then you put the cover over it. Um, what I have to show you, I'll show you a little later, but it's um it's wool, and they're super cute. There's tons of them. But these are, um, these repel moisture as well, and they're just like amazing to keep the pee in and keep the poop in, and um, really, like if you ever had, with cloth diapers, had diaper explosions, where the stuff is coming out the, up the top, out the side, you know, with cloth, it really soaks things in, so it, it really helps to to stop those diaper explosions from happening. Whenever I hear mamas who have um, disposable diapers and they say, like, I can't deal with these um, explosions or the leaks or anything like that, we always suggest cloth diapering because it's, just, it's really like full cool. um, So just like starting out here with um, the presentation, why why do we use cloth? And not just cloth diapers, I'm actually going to talk about um, mama cloth and family cloth and household cloth. Um, and I have lots of stuff to show you. But basically, it really does save you money in the end um, with disposable diapers or napkins or paper towels. You know, you're using once and you're throwing them away. So this is something that you are able to reuse over and over again. It may cost you a little bit more up front, but in the end, it really, you really end up saving the time. Um, as far as the diapers and just I mean, anything that goes on your body, um, there's less toxins and chemicals because diapers, in order to make things um, absorb and to, to keep the wetness away from your baby, they put some chemicals in the diapers to kind of to make that happen. Um, and like I said, they're reusable, you know, with, with cloth diapers, I love that I never had to go to the store. If I was out of diapers, I just washed diapers. Um, and um, they're not going to, you know, like I said, I'm big on the environment. They're not going to um, enter the landfill until they're like pretty much nothing. Um, so that's you. For certain cloth diapers, like pre folds that I use, um, I use I use them as rags after I use them as diapers. So, or you pass them on to other mamas, like I pass them on, on to my sister, and um, and um, she's able to use them. So they they, they last a really long time. Um, we're gonna skip the cloth diaper presentation and do a little bit more at the end. So when we have more of the diapers, because I don't have a ton. Um, and go into uh, what we call mama cloth. So, um, you know, before I had Jay, um, I used tags and I used tampons for my menstrual cycle. And um, once I learned about cloth, and I'll show you, 
what I've got here, um, I just fell in love because it was pretty awesome. Um, so you, they basically look like pads, but they're pops. So, oh, this is for the period? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, actually, yeah, they're, they're clean. And they look like they've been used because they have, but these ones are clean. They have little socks on the back, so they go. Okay. That's okay. That's what I know you're watching. Um, and yeah, so they're different sizes, but basically, you know, you soak up your period. And you're, you know, the placenta is like your period kind of builds up. All that blood in there is actually amazing. I don't know if anybody knows that you can actually eat your placenta. Um, oh, they say it prevents cancer. And the, it prevents um, a lot. They go to the doctor and they say it prevents Anything you can you can throw it in a smoothie. Yeah. It helps with postpartum yes. depression. It helps with milk supply. It's it's amazing um, what you can do with it. Did you eat yours? I sure did. Oh. And actually, my, my lovely husband did cook, cooked it. Oh, oh he, my husband! He ground he did a grinded it up. Grinded it. Ground it up in a um, in our. A coffee grinder, and then put it in little pills for me to take. So, and we could have we could have spent two hundred fifty dollars to have it, but that's an encapsulator. Do that. There's people out there that get certified to do that. But um, you know, depending on your flow and stuff like that, and you, you choose a pad. Um, uh, oh, you can see that. So that's they do. I know they stain or stink. Stain. Like, oh, stain. You know, no. Um, if you change them, you know, you got really different. So my flow, I can kind of days that I can go about two or four hours. Um, and then I'll, I'll be able to change it. But another thing that I do, and I'll show you these in a little bit in a second, but um, is I have another cloth that I can sit underneath it, so I will. Kind of help myself to not get stains on my underwear and put it underneath. And because they, they have other pads that actually have more. Uh, you got to touch on the What question? Yes, I'm going to show you that. So I watch this, but so those rings they clip under just like the, the sticky ones are the Awesome. Yeah, I'm like right under your underwear. And then, then like this, um, these are like inserts. So I mean, you, you need one door to see. This is actually cute for you. Um, you know, you really don't want to say that about it. Um, so then you're going to throw this underneath and this will be more absorbent. So I just did it kind of my own way and then this will go underneath. and. So for me, I have kind of got down to the science where I know when to change it, and then I know like what part of my period is actually put more absorbency in. Um, but Ojemal, you take it out. This for a room pad, right? Yeah, room pad. They sent us one to show you girls. Um, so they they are they're really cute. I mean, you see what I have here, um, and uh, I don't know. It's just basically it's for me. It was like I already popped diaper, so I just. Kind of had a separate bag for the pad. I'm going to show you um, this one. I actually have hanging up in my bathroom, so it has has been a 